Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful set of gold 3D flower resin coasters. After mixing her resin for about 3 to 5 minutes, she separates it into smaller cups to add the pigments, and she has everything that she's going to be using set aside and ready. The very first thing she's going to be adding is Luxury Ghost Gold Pearls, and this adds a beautiful shimmer to the resin. She adds a little bit into her clear resin and mixes it together very well. As usual, I'll have affiliate links in my description so you can purchase these products, and if they don't have the exact products, I find similar products, so make sure to check that out. Once she's done mixing, she pours it directly into the silicone molds. Then she quickly goes over the resin she just poured with a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and she moves it in a very quick motion so that she doesn't burn her resin or her silicone molds. Now she's adding gold leaf flakes into a small cup and she moves the gold leaves from the box into the cup with a wooden stick and this is because these gold leaves are extremely sticky and will stick to your gloves. She adds some glitter as well which makes for a very nice touch and mixes it together with the resin. Then she adds some into the center of the molds using a wooden stick. She continues to add a little bit more and slightly adjusts the placement. Now she's going to be adding her white pigment. She adds a few drops of Cast and Craft and mixes it for a few minutes. Now she's going to be adding her gold pigment and she's using Liquitex's Iridescent Bright Gold Acrylic Ink. And she adds a bronze shade of Mica Powder by Resin Pro. Once the gold pigmented resin is mixed well, she prepares a plastic bag to pour the resin into so that she'll be able to easily apply the resin into the shape of flower petals. And she does the same thing with the white pigmented resin. With scissors, she cuts off the corner of the plastic bag and then starts to apply the white pigmented resin into the shape of flower petals. For the best effects, you should be using a high viscosity resin, and if you don't have a high viscosity resin, you can use your low viscosity resin and wait about 30 minutes to an hour after mixing, and it will become thick just like a high viscosity resin. If you use a low viscosity resin without waiting that time, the pigmented resin will move too much in the molds, and you won't get a nice flower petal effect. Then she takes her gold pigmented resin and goes in the same motion that she did with the white pigmented resin. Then she drags the wooden stick from the outer edges of the molds into the center between the flower petals and this creates a nice effect. She works on some finishing touches and uses the torch gun once more to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles. And here's a clip of my mom demolding the coasters.
she added a heat resistant top coat and here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.